Molybdenum 2241 2RK is used for detecting alpha, beta, and gamma radiation. It is used for radiation area surveys and contamination surveys. At the end of this video, you will be able to properly use the Ludlum 2241-2RK. Before utilizing this piece of equipment, first look at the device for any obvious damage from the previous use. If damage is found, do not use the device. Check the calibration date. If the date of use does not fall between these dates, do not use. Ensure the off scalar rate meter switch is in the off position. Open the battery lid by turning the quarter turn thumb screw counterclockwise. Install two D-sized batteries into the compartment. Note the plus and minus marks inside the battery door. Match the battery polarity uh, to these marks, close the battery box door, and turn the thumb screw clockwise to lock. To begin, select the probe based on the survey you are conducting. For a contamination survey, it is appropriate to use the model 44-9 or pancake probe. This probe will detect alpha, beta, and gamma radiation. The reading when using this probe will be displayed in counts per minute or kilocounts per minute. The model 442 or gamma scintillator probe is best used for radiation area surveys. It will detect gamma only. When using the scintillator probe, readings will be displayed in micro R, milli R, or R per hour. When reporting these readings, make sure to include the correct units. To attach the probe to the meter, connect one end of the cable to the probe and tighten by turning the connection clockwise. Repeat with the other end of the cable to connect to the meter. Before using the probe, check to assure the cable is connected correctly. Make sure that the unit is in the off position while connecting the cable. If the meter is on, a small electrical shock can be emitted. A protected toggle switch is used to select between DET1 and DET2 parameters. The switch can be pulled up and then over to the desired selection. Make sure the toggle is switched to make the probe attached. Now the meter is ready to be turned on. To turn on the meter, turn the off scalar rate meter switch to the rate meter setting. The audio may be silenced or enabled via this front panel toggle switch. Even if the audio switch is in the off position, if the alarm is triggered, an alarm will still sound. An audible alarm can only be silenced by depressing the reset button. A two position toggle switch that selects fast or slow counting response time. The fast setting is used to find the radiation while the slow setting is used to make a radiation measurement. This allows for a more stable display of radiation readings. To utilize the backlight setting, press the light button. This will activate the backlight for anywhere between 5 and 240 seconds depending on the manufacturer's setting. The meter is preset with two alarms, a low alarm and a high alarm. These alarms are set at designated levels to notify the user to the presence and rate of radiation. The low alarm signifies radiation readings significantly above background, but still no immediate hazard. The high alarm indicates the presence of radiation with more of a significant hazard to human health. If the rate meter has increased above the preset alarm threshold, an audible continuous tone will accompany the flashing alarm display on the rate meter display. Depressing reset will acknowledge the audible rate meter alarm. Depressing reset a second time will reset the rate meter reading and rate meter alarm. Before use, conduct an operational check. Place the probe against a known radiation source, if available. If clicking sound does not increase, do not use device.